Lotsi. Send it! Water never hurt anyone. Um, That's not too bad. Hey guys, welcome to Not Blue's 4x4 and Adventure. I'm Shaden. I'm Patrick. Um, and today was down at the Murray, um, been camping for a few days, and we're just going to talk about um, what happens at Tulanga State Forest with my Hilux. Um, so, as most of you are aware, we haven't uploaded for about a month, um, and there's reasons to all that, which we will get into. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're just here today to pretty much discuss um, and tell you guys what happened. Um, also, maybe a bit what our future plans are for the channel because yep. we haven't really introduced each other. No. Um, so we're brothers. Um, Patrick's 25 and I'm 18. Um, so this is Patrick's Hilux. I'm yet to have a car. Yep. So the first morning of Talangi State Forest, we caught up um, with an old mate called um, Oshwan. He's yeah. got a Amarok um, and it did bloody well. Good. Uh, it's kept up with the Lux and all that. Um, and that what we. We haven't done too much four-wheel driving um, in the past. We've done little bits here and there and all that, so we're still learning and all that. And that's what the channel is about, us just having fun, us, you know, learning, just yep. learning, getting to meet new people, and pretty much taking you guys with us on our camping trips, you know, because we camp a lot. My car's built for touring, um, and that's what she is. That's why I've got the rooftop tent and all that, because I love touring. I love going up the east coast of Australia. Um, so we, I tour a lot, so... Um, and I like I like campsites that we can four wheel drive to. So we haven't I personally haven't done too much just four wheel driving tracks. And that Tulangi State Forest was one of the hardest things I've personally done, and all my Hilux has done. Um, so um, and my Hilux Center it went well. It, it, it did everything that I wanted. Um, had ample power and um, I couldn't ask anything more. It was of, honestly of, one of the best days. It, it was, was really such a fun. good day. I um, really enjoyed it. Oshwan, you know, he's he's such a funny bloke. So yeah. shout out to Oshwan for that mate. one. Cheers to um, you. Kept up well and all that. So um, hopefully you fixed your mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Both of them actually, yeah. Both, yeah, whoops. <laughs> all right, so as we said, we entered the track backwards, but there was one bog hole, uh, which you'll see now. Keep going, mate. All right. Oi. Uh, so that bulk hole right there was what we reckon damaged the Luxy. Um, oh, it definitely damaged the Luxy. Definitely damaged the Luxy. Yeah. Um, so because we went up um, backwards, there was a. I, I had a smooth entry, but the exit point was probably about oh, about a meter and a half high. Um, and so because I'm running um, 32s and a two inch lift, there was no way that I would have been able to drive it without winching. I was, I, look, I was so nervous. I've never done anything that deep. All the water just went all over my bonnet and just went everywhere. Um, looking back at it, I should have just tried to drive it. Um, that was my mistake. Um, I reckon that's probably also what caused a little bit of damage because smacking it into reverse um, after I was gunning it um, probably didn't help at all. Um, so I um, put it back into first gear and um, absolutely um, dropped it and yeah, um, sent the car. Um, and I, I just want uh, because going, at this point, after I smacked in reverse, water was right. coming um, underneath my um, door seals. So the winch took a while, but we finally winched him out um, and we got out of the little sections. So pretty much as I was driving, um, I took it out of four wheel drive, um, low range, and I put it back into uh, just two wheel drive. Hmm. Um, I was driving for about, what, about three, 400 meters. And it was here um, where all the engine lights started flickering. All, all the engine on. lights yeah. were flickering. Um, everything was flickering. And Pat's like, holy oh, no. crap, I've broken uh, my car. I've, I've done some, yeah. I've definitely done some water damage to my car. Um, I knew 
it was my transmission and I was thinking, shit, maybe I've got like, maybe my solenoid, my transmission solenoid is, you know, playing Bugging up or up something. Um, because it was only happening in second gear. Um, first gear was fine, or semi-fine. It was second gear, but where it just went up through the roof. Um, and third, fourth gear, it, it, was, it was okay. Um, so it got to a point where I had, I had no choice. We were in the middle of the bush and we had to get out of there. The sun was going down and, you know, we were getting cold, we were getting hungry. So we drove down, I babied my car all the way down yeah. to Yarra Glen um, yeah, Servo and we've got, we, we've got footage of it. Yeah, it's not looking good. Literally parked on the side of the road in Yarra Glen. Ugh. I call RSAV, I'm like, look, I need a tow truck ASAP because I don't want to risk driving my car because it was my rev gauge, my RPMs, which is going up and down, up and so down, hard, yeah. down. And I'm like, I don't want to, I've already done damage. I know I've done damage. I don't want to damage my Hilux anymore. And for whatever reason, they couldn't get a tow truck to, or they could have got a tow truck to Yarra Glen, but it would have taken, it would have taken them two and a half hours where if I traveled to Lilydale, um, it would have been there within an hour and a half. Mm. We went down to the Coles Express in Lilydale um, and there's a car wash there. Um, and you'll see, you'll see um, we'll put a couple of pictures in and all that. Um, but we called the RSEV guy and he's, he put his scan tool um, gauge in and he said that um, there was multiple codes flashing. Error codes. And Error that, codes. Yeah. Um, he picked up, there was a transmission solenoid down um, already, and this is within, Alternator, you know, timer belt. The all ti yeah, all yep. that was, you know, you know all, all pretty much given all the warning signs yep. and all that. So I'm like, shit, I've done myself a mischief. Mm. I've done, you know, I've done some damage. So he is like, mate, I can't help you. We're calling you a tow truck and all that. So we got a tow truck from Lilydale and, um, before then, because it was like an hour wait, I was like, look, I better wash my car. Telling your mud, I, the minute it gets hard, you know, she's rock hard. Once hour. it's in your car, you, you, uh, it's it, always going to be it's, there. I've yeah. still got so much mud already inside. And we've cleaned your car. I've cleaned like it multiple times, times yeah. and all that. We've gone down to Bunnings and got the car vacuum cleaners and all that. Um, and Air bombed my car because it smells like everywhere. shit. Yeah. <laughs> Mate. Uh, at least we didn't lose another plate. Or break the pie. Taxi here. Let's get some pie. Let's go get a pie. <laughs> oh, doorbell. Doorbell. There you go. Oh, um, been day. better. <laughs> oh, is there a pie? That's yeah. our taxi, yeah. We're just grabbing a quick feed. Oh, it was only two, dude. Alright, grab that. Nah. nah, because of COVID, he's not allowed to. Oh, right. So, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> um, you drove it in? I drove it in. Um, nah, the auto transmission. Uh, she's not going into gear. Um, oh. So, I've only got first gear. And that's it. So, going 80 on the freeway wasn't fun. <laughs> so, Money as well. Yeah. Got our pies. Got our pies. Dinner sorted. We're happy. Quickly jump in the taxi. Taxi ride home. Yeah. Yeah. How you doing, mate? How you going, mate? Ah, uh, yep, hat trick. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and we've got a tow truck um, from Lily Dove back to um, one of Shaden's mate's place. place. Shout out to Kyle shout and out Mark. To Kyle, yeah. Big, big shout out. Yeah. They really helped yeah. out. Me and Shaden, we stripped the whole car. We took all the seats out. We cleaned it. Um, I knew that because of what happened, I knew it was a transmission problem um, with other problems later what well, we find out. Um, so I've, I dropped my transmission pan because I got a new, a brand new exhaust, a Bow Desert 3 inch. Exhaust, exhaust with extractors. My um, dip, my, so my diff breathers. So I have got transmission um, diff diff breathers. I've got front rear, rear front and rear diff yeah. breathers and all that. 
I didn't realise that my transmission diff breather was actually touching the exhaust. It, so it actually... Fully melted. It, it fully melted yeah, my... We looked at it. I don't think we... We didn't end up taking a photo because we were in shock. No. Yeah. Fully melted though. It fully melted yep. my um, my diff breather, my transmission hose. Any bog hole that I went into Telangi, all the water was going into my, um, into transmission. my transmission yeah. breather hole. Um, so therefore mucking me up. Um, so that's pretty much what caused um, some of the issue. Um, I finally, um, I took it down to a transmission shop um, and they said that my, I'm up for a brand new transmission. He did a quick test and he showed me the ins and outs of a transmission, what was very nice. But I personally feel like he was too quick to judge that I was already up for a transmission. Mm. Um, I was quoted about four and a half half to four seven on a brand new transmission uh, sorry a, a brand recon, new recon, recon yeah a brand new recon yeah. transmission um and that's a lot of money that's, so yeah. i was like i was calling up other places so i called up toyota i called up my uh my good mechanic and all that and i, I he was able to squeeze me in and he looked at my car and he was like pat what have you done mate mm. i'm like mate you don't want to ask so he pretty much he was like, Pat, look, leave it with us and I will do my best to, you know, fix it. Um, and that's where my car sat for about a month in uh, my mechanic shop. Um, shout out to my mechanic. He did a top job. Yeah. Um, so pretty much what happened is my mechanic had to rewire a lot of my transmission wiring. He had to replace um, multiple transmission solenoids. Um, my... Um, I broke a couple of pulleys and my belts um, were just clogged, clogged up. The <laughs> alternator was just caked in mud. Yeah. Um, and look, the list just kept them going. It just goes um, on and on. So, and on. Yeah. Um, shout out to my mechanic. But he was able to get it um, up and running without a um, new transmission or a recon transmission. Um, and it's it's driving fine now. Uh, she, you know, she's... Um, she's back. She's, she's back. The Luxie's back she's now. She's back. So. Woo. <laughs> Woo. I got no beer left. Oh, no. Uh. <laughs> uh, look, the, Lux, the Luxie is back, um, and I'm really happy. Um, so now we can create more content. Uh, like and yep. subscribe because it was expensive It'll video. be the most expensive video we ever, ever make. make. Yep. Ever make. Unless I freaking roll my car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Touch wood, where's wood? <laughs> yeah. um, oh, no. But um, as for that, guys, um, um, there's bigger and better things coming. Um, the Luxie's fixed. Um, Pat and I love in life. Um, I'm looking at purchasing my first car soon, so it means we're gonna always have two cars. Um, gonna be showing more of Pat's build, also my build. Yep. Um, so yeah, the Lux is all right though. Pat's bank account definitely isn't all right, it's but- It's not okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so that wraps up our video of what happened to my poor little poor Lux. Luxie, yep. um, so now you know, um, hopefully that's answered all your questions. Any other questions? The messages um, and everything yeah. has been insane. To what happened to the Lux? Literally, I want to know. All my Facebook, Shaden's Facebook's yeah. been blowing, blowing up, up and all yeah. that. So, um, you know, like Pat, Shaden, what did you do to the highlights? I told everyone, we're that. making a video and this so is it. This is um, the video, so hopefully you guys like it. Um, Hopefully we don't do too many talk videos. We don't want to be doing too many talk videos. We want to be, you know, out camping, just having a laugh, having fun with each other, with you know, close family and friends, and just adventuring. So <laughs> um, we're actually stuck in New South Wales right now. Um, so yeah, stuck. Actually, a lockdown going on, and Victoria is over there. But we're uh, look here. Over, so, there. <laughs> over there, yeah. Um, but we're here. So I'm out of beer, Patrick. Um, out of, out of beer, so we're, we're gonna go beer, get, another so we're gonna get another beer. Sit around a fire and um, get warm. Maybe okay. rug up and put some trackies on. Thank you very crazy. much for watching, guys. Uh, we really appreciate all the support. And yeah, thanks, guys, for watching, guys. Cheers, Cheers guys. See you next Woo. video.